Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Eureka Minion Libra Grinder. The Libra, as the name suggests, and you may have guessed, is named after the uh, astrological symbol for September and October, uh, Libra, and uh, what is the symbol of the Libra? A scale, or scales. This is a grind by weight grinder, and it doses by weight instead of by time. To present the Libra, I'm going to go over its features, uh, I'm going to show you how to use the grinder, and then we'll run a test against a, uh, another scale uh, to see how close the dosing is. So let's start at the top uh, with the hopper. Uh, the hopper is a clear hopper, relatively small like we see on all the Minion grinders. There is a larger hopper that's available which is optional. It does have the sliding door, so basically we use this to close it. I can remove that if I want to change my coffee. You just have to get rid of the excess coffee that stays inside the uh, kind of the neck of the grinder. This of course is a clear hopper, but it's also available with a smoked hopper, and that's kind of like a black hopper. Looks really cool, especially with the black grinders or the darker grinders, uh, and that's also available from I Drink Coffee. The adjustment knob is right here, and the Libra has a, a bit of a larger one, an oversized adjustment knob. It's very easy to use. You can make very small micro adjustments to really dial in that coffee to get the very most out of your beans. Here we have the screen that we basically set our dose with. And now this is based on grams. So it's not time like you would find on other grinders like the Specialita uh, or the XL. Uh, this is a measure of grams. I currently have it set to 16 grams, but you also have a different setting. If you go to the single, you can set it, for example, it's set to seven grams, but you can set this to whatever you want. Super easy to change, just press up and down. Uh, for example, I just went up by half a gram. That would be seven and a half grams. I'll also mention with Eureka's system here, uh, if we ever want to clean the burrs, you can disassemble this grinder, clean the burrs, and then put it back together without actually changing the grind setting, which is pretty cool because uh, a lot of times with grinders, uh, you'll have to uh, take off the uh, top burr carrier, you go all the way coarse, and uh, when you're reassembling it, you have to waste a lot of coffee to find that setting once again. With this one, uh, that's not necessary. The grind stays where it was. Below that we have the forks, uh, and this is newly designed for the Libra. They're made out of steel. Uh, it's very important to get this properly adjusted to your portafilter. You want your portafilter to sit in there nice and snug to get the best possible results. It's very easy to adjust the height. You just loosen the screw and it's done by hand. I'm not going to change it because I do have it set to my portafilter, uh, but that's how you adjust it. Super simple. On the inside, the machine has 55 millimeter burrs, which is the same burr set that we find on, or the same size burrs that we find on the Specialita. Using the grinder is very simple. Just take your portafilter, like I said, I have this set to my Lamarzoco Linea Micra, and then just press the double button. Uh, the grinder will quickly tear and begin grinding, and it will stop once it reaches 16 grams. Now, I just want to give you a piece of advice. Uh, sometimes you'll see people with grinders kind of hitting the forks and things like that to redistribute the grinds. You can't do that on this grinder because, of course, the load cell is inside the fork and that will affect your grind. So just leave it. Uh, it's, uh, if you uh, move the grinder or tilt it, it is going to affect the weight. You don't want to do that. Now, let's test uh, the load cell on the Minion Libra against an uh, external scale. I'm going to tear a, a dosing uh, cup. I've got a Passato dosing cup right here, and I'm just going to tear that. It goes to zero grams. I'm going to grind into my portafilter. I'm going to transfer the grinds to the dosing cup, uh, to, uh, and, and then, of course, weigh them. So my first dose is 16.1 grams. Again, I have it set to 16. The second dose is 16 grams on the dot. My third dose is 16.1 grams. The fourth dose is 16 grams on the dot. Right in between 15.9 and 16, you can see the scale is moving a little bit. We're talking about micrograms.
and the fifth dose, 16 grams on the dot. So I ground five separate doses and each dose was within 0.1 of our target. Three of the doses were uh, pretty much right on, which is really extraordinary. The physics behind grind by weight are extraordinarily complicated and I give kudos to the engineers at Eureka for creating such an incredible and accurate grinder. Now with all this grinding, we've got this great aroma in the air. I wanna try that coffee. I'm actually gonna take that coffee back from my dosing cup, transfer it into the portafilter and brew myself a Americano. So I've tamped and dosed my coffee. I like to do Americano's water first, so I'm just gonna add some water. This machine here, of course, if you're curious, is a La Marzocco Linea Micra. I paired these two together because both of these machines uh, hail from the same city and that, of course, is Florence, Italy. You can see I'm getting a beautiful extraction, even though this grinder is actually quite new. I'm using a bottomless portafilter and I'm not getting a lot of channeling or a lot of uh, spraying. Uh, that's quite extraordinary, to be honest. Just stop it there. And you can see with the uh, Minion Libra, I'm able to create a beautiful Americano, a great crema on top. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna taste fantastic as well. Mm. Amazing. Grind by weight is a feature that we've seen in the last little while in a lot of commercial grinders. Uh, the Malconic grind by weights, of course, are amazing grinders, but they are large and also quite expensive. Uh, the Minion Libra brings this technology into your home in a more manageable size and of course a more manageable price. And it really is amazing. You may be asking yourself why you would want a grind by weight grinder. And the main reason is that it's easier to use. Uh, with a time-based grinder, once you have your uh, grind set in, your coarseness, you have your grind fine enough, you're getting a good shot of espresso, in order to dial in your dose, it requires trial and error because you have to change that timing sometimes by you know half a second. If you go from a darker roast, which you tend to grind a little coarser to a finer roast, uh, sometimes the change is significant. Uh, on my Specialita, sometimes a, a one uh, grind for 18 grams is about eight or nine seconds, and another coffee could be as much as 13 or 14 seconds. So that's quite a bit of a difference, requires some experimentation. With the grind by weight, I don't have to worry about that step. I set the grinder to my desired dose, whether it's 16, 20, 21 grams, what have you, and it will deliver that amount. It's really convenient. Eureka is a brand that I Drink Coffee has been partnered with for a very long time, and grinders like this is exactly why. They are innovators in the space, making incredible products, uh, especially for the home market, uh, that are approachable and that function really well. If you have any questions about the Eureka Minion Libra, uh, the Lamborzocco Linea Micra, or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're here to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about coffee grinders, espresso machines, coffee machines, everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching and have a great day.